Hey everybody, it's Merrill. I made a worksheet for this video. Just hit the link in the video description. Uh, scroll down on the page and uh, press click here where it says click here and print out uh, this sheet uh, that you're going to see me working on. And of course the idea is for you to work along with me. Uh, I'm going to be using the usual uh, blending tools, uh, a paintbrush, um, and uh, a set of pencils in uh, different tones. Uh, but uh, I'm taking a slightly different approach. Uh, there's so many different ways to draw. There's so many different ways to, uh, you know, make a successful image. And what you're seeing me do right now is break the picture down into shapes. I had a really um, uh, early video, uh, one that I made like about two years ago, uh, that uh, teaches this concept. But uh, I think it was time, it, I think it is time for me to make another because uh, I do a lot of work from observation. And you might have seen me a few seconds ago uh, take a, a red pencil and mark out some shapes, uh, some fairly obvious shapes. And of course, to the right of that, uh, I am uh, making those shapes again, and I'm making the baseball player. And really, it's as simple as that. You want to see the positive space, uh, you want to see the negative space, and you want to make up as many uh, shapes as you can use the shadows, uh, use the highlights. Each one of them gives you the opportunity to see some shapes, uh, to see some uh, edges, and um, that will help you too. Um, I'm, I'm starting out with the HB pencil, a regular pencil, like I always do, um, line drawing, and you know, just translating what I did on the left there. As you can see, there's some lines that I made, uh, construction lines that I made in my drawing. They're eventually going to be erased. Uh, but, um, you know, I use those as well. Like, um, you saw me start out with the triangle from the knee to the two shoulders. Um, and then I did the shape uh, underneath uh, the legs. You know, now I'm erasing the construction lines. There we go, right on cue. I've been procrastinating on this um, that figure drawing series. There, there's so much to go over, but I'm, I'm really excited to go over it with you. And instead of giving you the nine tutorials, like I said, I did one, but um, I mean, that tutorial that I did went over so much. Um, for instance, uh, seven and a half heads up and down the human body. Um, counting down from the top, it's the head to the chin, the chin to the uh, nipples, the nipples to the navel, and from the uh, feet up, it's uh, two heads to the knees, and then from the knees to the groin is another two heads. And that extra half head is, uh, it, it would be right below where you see the number two uh, on the baseball player's body. Um, and that's the variable in there. But, you know, I want you to think about what you saw in the last video. I probably have already posted a link to it if you have not seen that. Um, going over human proportion. Um, it's also um, two and a half, sometimes to three heads across the human body. Um, and, uh, you know, of course the shoulders are turned, so it's foreshortened. Um, and you have to make adjustments based on that. That's one of the trickiest things uh, that you can do. You basically have to, like, shorten the length that you know that um, exists. And, you know, that's what I'm doing. The arms are also somewhat uh, foreshortened, but they make a nice shape uh, in between them. Uh, there's a diamond shape in between them, uh, appropriate for a baseball player, I suppose. Uh, but that helped me get, um, you know, the angle of the arms and the baseball bat. For the record, um, I've done a ton of step-by-step uh, -step basketball videos, but uh, I I'm a baseball nut. Um, I've played baseball my whole life. I played through college, actually, um, and I think uh, baseball uh, helped me get into art uh, because it taught me persistence. It taught me uh, tenacity, uh, not to quit. Uh, I didn't start with my drawing until I was 20 years old, and um, I'll make this a short story. Um, I was forced to take an art class. I tried to get out of it. I tried to get my advisor's signature to say, you know, he doesn't need this, but I needed three credits. I went in kicking and screaming. I went out loving it. And um, 
you know, I'm, I'm glad that I took that class, of course. Uh, but, you know, uh, my background, you know, I played sports through high school and college, um, and it really uh, taught me a lot. Okay, so forgive me for the tangent. Let's get back to this. I'm getting back into the shading. Um, I'm, I'm working with a 5B pencil now, and you totally, well, I didn't tell you when I was working with the 2B pencil, but, you know, I always develop it, develop my drawings like a, uh, a Polaroid picture. Um, if, if you're over 25 years old, you know what a Polaroid camera is. It, it uh, takes pictures. Uh, the uh, actual picture comes out of the camera, and it slowly develops before your eyes. And you want the same thing with your drawing. So I'm developing the tones slowly, just like a Polaroid picture. I'm using the kneaded eraser, uh, which is actually a new thing to me. I've, I've barely used that in the past, but it, it's been so helpful in shaping the highlights. And if you notice, I, I do shading, uh, and I, I, I smudge it with either a paintbrush or a blending stump, and then I put in the highlights.